Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel guys. I'm Shahana and in this series of videos we are discussing about DNA binding motifs. Previously we discussed in detail about helix darn helix motif, helix loop helix motif, leaves in zipper motif. In this video, we are about to discuss gene finger motif, its structure, discoveries about rece steroid receptors and application. So without any further ado, let's jump into this video. This group of DNA binding motif include one or more zinc ion as structural components. So this is this is a 2D diagram of zinc finger motif. Here you can see a single zinc ion is tetrahedrally coordinated with four residues, two cysteine and two histidine. So there is a there is an elongated loop so, loop also. You might ask why why it is named as finger zinc finger. So here you can see in this diagram the elongated loop appear as a finger. Uh, so back then scientists named it as zinc finger. In 1988, ZNF motif was first discovered in a transcription factor that is TF3A of Xenopus levis. For the regulatory function of TF3A, it must contain a zinc ion, they found it back then. So the consensus sequence of a single cysteine 2 histidine 2 ZNF motif is this. The main function of zinc ion in this motif is to stabilize the correct folding of the protein. Further detailed study of this motif using X-ray and NMR clearly showed that C2H2 finger is a compact globular domain which is composed of an alpha helix and a beta sheet. This green alpha helix has 12 amino acid residues and the beta sheet is antiparallel as you can see in this figure. Between these two secondary structures, there is a zinc ion holding it together in correct folding. Now we know that zinc ion only stabilizes the folding of the protein and it does not itself bind to the DNA. Then who binds it? Yes, the alpha helix binds to it. The alpha helix of each finger lies in the major group of the DNA double helix. Sometimes it binds to the GC box. You know what? A single zinc finger motif and DNA interaction is not strong enough. So the protein have a cluster of it for stronger and specific interaction. In this figure, you can see there is three zinc finger motif which together interacts with the DNA. Now we are going to talk about steroid receptors. You might ask why are we discussing steroid receptor here? It is because steroid receptor is another class of DNA binding protein which make use of zinc ion. Steroid receptors are generally intracellular receptors which are found in the nucleus and cytosol. When ligand binds to it, they form ligand receptor complex which is a gene regulator. Its DNA binding domain has zinc, zinc finger which has cysteine but no histidine residue, so it is referred to as cysteine 2 cysteine 2 zinc finger, that is C2C2 zinc finger with no histidine. This domain is 70 to 80 amino acid long and contains two zinc ions, each coordinated, coordinated tetrahedrally with four cysteine residue, 
and its consensus sequence is this now let's discuss few applications of zinc finger motif in various protein engineering techniques zinc finger motif is attached to a fusion protein the zinc finger motif will alter the DNA binding specificity thereby this protein will bind to the DNA and the fusion protein may act as an activator or inhibitor, inhibitor thereby regulating the gene expression. ZNF motif can also be attached with DNA cleavage domain to cut in a sequence specific region of the DNA. The most common applications of ZNF array include zinc finger transcription factor and zinc finger nucleus. So we'll end it here today. Thank you for watching. See you soon guys. Bye bye.